Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm here to tell you about my experience at Sun Outdoors San Diego Bay. I visited with my family of four in May 2021. The check-in process was easy, and everything was done online ahead of time. When you first enter the property, you can check out the market. There's a ton of items in there for anything that you may have forgotten and some helpful staff. Let's get into all of these awesome amenities. The first is the game room that has pool, shuffleboard, and several poker tables. The arcade is located right next to the pool with lots of games for the kids to play. Although we didn't work out on my trip, the gym was beautiful and had just opened the day before. My family had a lot of fun playing on the pickleball court and the half basketball court located just as you enter the property. There was a putting green, some great bocce ball and horseshoe areas. There's even an Amazon hub on site. Our kids got to do some Mother's Day crafts and they had a ton of fun at the park. I'd say that this park is best for kids who are three and up. Each day we were there, they had a ton of different food trucks. We spent the majority of our time at our campsite or at the pool. As always, the weather was beautiful in San Diego. The pool was well heated and there were two jacuzzis for day use and night use. There was a splash pad for the kids to run around right next to the pool. There were even some cabanas you could rent. I'd recommend the larger ones to the left of the pool. They do cartoons on Sunday morning for the kids and they had a bunch of the Padres games playing this weekend. Up above, there are some great meeting spaces that look out over the pool. But nighttime was where this place really came alive. There are fire pits everywhere, lots of fun music. The Commons is a great place for people of all ages to hang out. I spent most of my time at my own fire pit. There are a bunch of cottages on the property that all looked amazingly nice. There's a promenade down the middle where you can take a walk and enjoy the lights and maybe get to know your neighbors. We stayed in one of the standard full hookup RV sites. Each site was large enough to accommodate most RVs and travel trailers with room to spare. They had nicely poured concrete, no dirt, which was great with the kids and the dog, and each site had a fire pit, nice chairs, and even a table. Our favorite parts about the resort was that it was clean and new. The amenities were awesome, especially the pool. The sites were very family and dog friendly. There were lots of people working to answer my questions. The food trucks were a definite plus, and there was decent space between all the sites. Some of the things we didn't like about the property was that it was lacking shade, there was no direct beach access, and no fresh grass for my pup. In general, this is a lot more expensive compared to the RV resorts we've stayed at before, but it is Southern California during the summer. Lastly, I would suggest checking the guest policy before you make your reservation. It's very expensive to have somebody come and visit you, even for one day. Our family had a great weekend, and we will likely be back again. See you on the road, everyone.